Welcome to Clarinet Hacks with Jochen. In this episode I continue and finish the adjusting of the German fingered keywork of a model 2000 clarinet made by Schwenk and Segelke. Today it's up to explain just the left hand pinky and right hand pinky keys. We have one, two, three, four, five adjusting screws which are around on the lower part of the instrument. This construction which is also typical for the Schwenk und Segelke clarinets because we have the B and C natural on two separate axes. They are not connected directly um, from lever to cup of the tone hole but it's indirect so you can open the tone hole apart from the lever. And this gives you the freedom to decide which opening of the keys you want to have for playing. If you close the tone holes a little more towards the body of the instrument, you have a very nice, very short way for the fingers. So this movement works very quickly as well here. But the disadvantage is that the opening is so small that the sound of the lower register doesn't get out of the instrument free. If you make the opposite, if you open the tone holes very very much, you have the problem that your fingers will be moving a little more with with a little more difficulty. So always like in a lot of things, in a lot of matters, it's very good to follow kind of a middle way between the two extremes. I show you how it should be well adjusted. You can test it either in the low register or in the high register. This is what we want to have. If now I deregulate all these screws, like opening them as much as I can. So let's see what happens now. Yeah, again, you see, it's a possibility to deregulate the whole mechanism in a way that you cannot continue to play your clarinet. So we have to find out what is the right position. Let's start with those two keys here, which when, the, when they are closed they give the second octave C. What we want to have is a parallel opening and closing of these two tone holes. And we find with our feeler gauge made from cigarette paper that this tone hole closes very well and here there's nothing. So what do we have to do? You see this adjusting screw presses against the cup but it presses too much because this closes first and this leaks. So we have to go back with the screw as much as we can get as well a closing of this tone hole. Yeah, now we feel a tiny resistance, it's not yet enough. So go back again, tiny bit. Up. Now we have a perfect result for those two things here, those two pads. Even a tiny bit less would be good. So. Now we have the same feeling on the cigarette paper on both pads. So this will work again. Tja, what a pity. It doesn't work yet. Why is this? It's just because of this key seems to be still open. 
So you have no no contact at all here on a tone hole which should be closed. So we have to open this key as much as possible. So we go down with this screw, so inside, in the sense of the clock, some two minutes to have no more uh, loose game here, but still a closing pad. Still a tiny bit more, so like this. Now it works perfectly and it opens up the key as it should be. Now we can test it. And now we see if the last key, uh, key on this instrument, the B natural key, still works. Seems doesn't work, yeah? So now we have to combine this screw as much as it should be to close the last tone hole on the instrument. It's not really tight here. So we have to close this screw. This screw connects the lever directly with this tone hole. And if this is really tight, it should work. Okay, now there's another f fingering. It's this additional fingering for the C sharp, where you only press the B natural lever, which gives the typical Albert C sharp. No effect, it should sound like. Okay, doesn't work. We find the problem here. This key, which should be closed by this adjustment screw, because this is connected with the lever, is still open. So what we have to do is to close this adjustment screw as much as those two keys are synchronized. Why? You see the corks here on the back side of the adjusting screws and the effect should be that both tone holes close in the same way. I take again my little paper filler gauge. Ah, still not enough. So, now it's correct. So, everything is working now. And then we have still something, because this key opens so much and here we have kind of a, an empty way to overpass and this doesn't feel very comfortable. For instance we have this lever here which has an adjustment screw which goes down to the corpus of the instrument and with this screw you can synchronize the opening of both keys. So I close this one up to here is no air between. It's a tiny bit more. You see, now it's correct. Even a tiny bit more. There's a little natural cork sheet beyond this, which prevents that in case of quick opening, there's a, um, yeah, a metallic key sound, which is prevented. So now we should have a good result. It's like it should work. I hope you can 
have any help from these advices and I hope you follow Clarinet Hacks with Jochen on this website. Thank you very much. Bye bye.